YouTubers, Scott here. Got a great old gun for you today, and it's a Ruger. The old Security 6. This one here is one of the Security 6 line. They made three different type guns. They made a Security 6, a Police Service 6, and a Speed 6. This one happens to be the Police Service 6 in 357 Magnum. It was also available in 38 Special and 9mm. They first came out with the Security 6 with a fixed fix sight or an adjustable sight. And shortly after that, they decided in order to capture the police market, the law enforcement market, they needed to rename the fixed version of the gun the Service 6 or what they ended up with, the Police Service 6. And so when you see a Police Service 6, you're going to see a fixed sight gun most mostly. Uh, there were some variants to that rule but pretty much they're all going to be a fixed sight and pretty much they were all made in a four inch barrel or a two and three quarter inch barrel. During the time they made them from 1972 to 1988 in total of the three guns they made one and a half million of these guns. This gun was made to compete with the K-Frame Smith & Wesson and when Smith & Wesson brought out their L-Frame due to the fact the K-Frames were starting to crack if they were fed too many 357 Magnum rounds then Ruger decided to drop the Security 6 and beef it up and bring it back as the GP100 that's the gun you know today that's a lot beefier gun than this and it's got a lock up on its cylinder that's on the cylinder yoke right in here instead of on the end of the extractor rod. This one's on the end of the extractor rod on its lock up on this end of the cylinder. So they got a little beefier design nowadays in that. They also of course have the bull barrels on the big barrels and they've they've beefed up the size of the cylinder and frame a little bit too so the GP 100 is a considerably stronger gun than the security 6 but the security 6 is a very robust design and if you find one used chances are pretty darn good it's still serviceable it takes an awful lot to beat one of these up this gun here has seen a lot of miles and it still shoots as sweet as can be. This one happens to have the spurless hammer on it. Now it's not a double action only hammer. What it is is a spurless hammer. And it, it decreases the trigger, the length of trigger pull and the weight of the trigger pull to lighten it up by about 20%. What it does have, if you want to cock it, is it has checkering right here on the top of the hammer that you can get your thumb on and cock it. Of course, you got to start it with your finger to get it back to do it, and then you can cock it like that. It's not the kind of thing you do very often because it really kind of digs in on your thumb pretty good. But it has a very nice trigger pull and double action and it shoots dead on each time. If you do your job, this thing will put them into a very small hole. It has been a great gun and I, I really enjoy this gun. You know, and if, you, if you're interested in, in getting a Speed 6 or a Security 6 or a Police Service 6, which this is, you have to hunt a little bit, but they do pop up at gun shops in the used cabinet quite often. And usually they're somewhere between 300 and four hundred dollars although nowadays they're starting to to get up around I've seen them some of them as high as five hundred and fifty dollars of course those are new in a box new old stock new in a box guns but at that point you're reaching the outer edge of the envelope because you can buy yourself a GP 100 for around six and a half to seven hundred dollars so bear that in mind if you do see one and want to buy it but you should be able to find one like this that's well used and get it for around 300 bucks 
and this thing locks up tight and shoots great but it does have a few nicks and scratches on it from all the years of wear and a lot of muzzle wear from going in and out of the holster but it's a great old gun I love this gun thought I'd share that with you Ruger made a million and a half of these between the time of 1972 and 1988 so you got a good shot of finding a used one out there somewhere now they made them in 38 special 357 magnum and 9 millimeter which uses moon clips so I encourage you if you if you have interest in one and see one somewhere don't hesitate to buy it they're great old guns easy to work on one of the one of the sales features they had on these guns is all you had to do was use a coin or a screwdriver to remove this grip the rest of the gun you can assemble and disassemble, disassemble completely without any tools it's a very simple design a very robust design these things just shoot and shoot and shoot and last and last if you find one that's in good shape it'll last probably not only your lifetime but you'll be able to leave it for your kids and it'll last their lifetime and it'll probably last long enough that they can give it to their kids and it'll last them a lifetime I mean they aren't quite as fancy as a Smith & Wesson but they sure do shoot accurately and they sure do last so I thought I'd share that with you because I really enjoy this gun I enjoy all the security sixes I have that's the first gun I ever carry so thanks for tuning in if if you like my channel I would like you to subscribe if you could but at any rate feel free to stop back and and check out my other videos when I put them on or the ones I've already got if you haven't seen them thanks again